importance of sleep and getting a good night's rest is especially relevant this week with daylight saving time kicking in. We know for many of your many of you, your sleeping schedule is a bit off. Clearly mine is too. I can't focus today. <laughs> Landon Miller has a closer look at why getting some Z's is so important to your health. Sleep not only feels good, but guess what? It's good for you too. Short term memories get converted from short term memory to long term memory. Um, your body produces growth hormone if you're younger. The team at Washoe Sleep Disorder Center analyzes and treats 88 total diagnosable sleep disorders from narcolepsy to insomnia. Here inside the sleep center, they have a lot of different technology to monitor patients while they sleep, including this infrared camera, which they monitor from the other room. So this is basically um, our control room. And in here, at any given time, we can record up to four patients at a time. An average adult should get about seven hours of sleep each night, but each case is a little different. We're a 24-hour town, a 24-hour region, uh, and we have people that work an unnatural shift. And for that reason, Wood says if you can get a nap in, go for it. In a perfect world, they'd be able to sleep six, seven, eight hours in one chunk, but it, it, having an unnatural uh, shift like that is, is sometimes it can be difficult or impossible. But that's not always the case. One of the more common sleeping disorders is insomnia. And by napping during the day, you're doing more harm to your body than good. Usually we'll ask them to take is to restrict um, their sleep. And, and basically what that means is if you're taking an, uh, an afternoon nap, stop doing that. And have you ever heard of a thing called sleep hygiene? <laughs> It's light, noise, temperature, everything and anything that could interfere with rest. One of them uh, being light. Light is a big thing that, you know, if you've ever tried to fall asleep with the lights on, it's not very easy. Noise is another thing. So obviously you're going to want to build a, an environment that's conducive to sleep or conducive to napping. Covering Health Watch, Landon Miller, Channel 2 News.